for our client work that we decided to work on and create research for, uh, we decided to go in the direction of choosing Lyft for the grocery pickup and delivery potential feature that can come into that app system. Um, and this is gonna be the research report that we were able to gather. Uh, for the purpose of this uh, client work, we were able to create a survey which gathered a bunch of opinions through a diverse uh, target market. Uh, we were able to incorporate some of the features and gather information on some of the features that the target market actually wants incorporated into this new app feature that we may have. Um, ultimately, this could shape the future of Lyft and the grocery pickup aspect of that. Um, for our project method methodology, uh, we were able to do a stratified random sampling, um, usually around 18 to 45 year olds. Um, that was usually in our target market, especially right now in the Dallas, Texas area. Um, with the target population of around 200,000 people, uh, because of the calculations and everything, we ended up coming to a conclusion of 1600, uh, roughly 1600 uh, for the 90% confidence level and then 2% margin of error. Um, for this specific survey, I was able to gather 100 individuals that were invited into the survey and 65 of them were actually participants in it as well. Um, a way that I was able to gather more of them was to send them daily reminders um, to gather it, especially coming into this new Lyft one. Lyft is a grand uh, app and it diversifies all throughout the country. So we really wanna make sure that we get as much information from a diverse aspect of it. And the data was all collected November 20th, 2023. Um, some of the study limitations that I was able to find was that it was very varied and dependent on the demographics, whether it was age or gender and the geography and also like income level, right? So the people that actually held more money, we'll see later on the research, actually preferred not as costly um, of a feature, but when it, they were in the middle class area, they didn't mind it too much, but also phone usage, right? Lyft is an app online. So obviously those that use that more online and shop more online are gonna be more involved in that as well. So um, making sure that I was diversifying it to where we were hitting all different levels on all these limitations, um, just to get a better example of what each target market really actually is looking for. Um, so respondent profile, uh, for our age, we were able to see a about 4% or under 18, right? We, I was in this area, so we were able to find that 82%, which was a grand majority, were within the, um, what's it called, the age target market, which is actually our target market, like we mentioned in the beginning for the purpose, 82% um, of that. And then we go a little bit lower with 3% on 55 to 64 year olds, 45 to 54 with 4%. And it just kind of varies around there. Um, not too much of that data was collected, seeing as where the research actually took place. Um, and we were able to get a very balanced gender uh, demographic where we had 42% male, 57% female, um, which is great for us because when you have a Lyft app like this app, we and for our client, we want to be able to have a very balanced demographic to where we can get really in perspective what features everyone wants, right? Um, then we move on to the residing region. As you can see on our word bubble thing, most of them live in the Dallas, Wasahachie area. Some of them you can see were more in Hillsboro, Arlington, and Grand Prairie. Um, some in this research I actually put where their hometown was because we were located in a um, college campus some of them put where they are originally from not where they were currently living in and household size actually varied a lot pretty balancedly but most were in the four including themselves so then we go to the household income uh, with the household income uh, majority were within less than ten thousand dollars a year um, a lot of these people were a little confused 
uh, on how to rank themselves, especially because it was the survey was studied within a college campus. So most most of them did not have a steady balance on what their budget and everything was. Um, now for our details findings, so this will go a little bit more in depth on that aspect. Um, so for the perception of it, of Lyft, for everyone, how they viewed it reliability-wise, convenience-wise, or overall satisfaction, we were able to see that convenience kind of held pretty high at 3.84 average. This was on a scale of one to five, right? One being not really, five being very satisfied with that, right? And the perception of it was very high, right? Um, overall satisfaction was reported at 3.68. And so generally, those people that knew Lyft, they liked Lyft, and they find it pretty reliable. Again, um, majority of our target market is pretty young, so they probably use them as it was just occasional. Um, for important features that the target market actually found was that speed delivery was extremely important, um, with 73% holding it at a 3.53 average. So this was again on a scale of one to five. Ease of use um, is right underneath it with a 3.65 average rating. Um, cost transparency, 3.84 average rating. Um, product freshness guarantee was at 4.16. And customization options were at 3.52. Uh, again, all this shows us is what is really the important factors. These are all important factors to our target market, but which one is really a priority? Again, since it's so pretty close together, you want to incorporate all of these into your, into your new feature that you may be developing. Um, especially product freshness. I know a lot of them will see whenever they answer the questions, they actually want to get what they are looking for. So really prioritizing that in our features. And then this is a graph that it showed. Again, it was on a scale of one to five, one being not important at all, five being extremely important. And again, you can see how product freshness guarantee was one of the highest in that aspect. Um, some of the features that were lacking. So when we asked them, you know, what features would you like to see compared to our competitors? Um, this is some of the word maps that gathered all those words that they were saying. So there was a key emphasis in flexibility and customization options and desire for adaptability. So being able to go into the app and really pick out several options where it's not necessarily this goes with this and I can only get this, right? It's like they want it to be more of a, a, I'm going to the store and I have, if I have to buy this, then I can buy this too, right? And so they want that to be easy and flexible on their phone. Real-time tracking, timely delivery, effective communication, and detailed item summary for verification. Again, Lyft already holds a lot of that within their car app and their uh, ride Lyft. Right, but incorporating that as well into what the grocery pickup and delivery is. Um, some suggestions range from preferences to ensuring trustworthy service and simplifying the app for the older um, target market as well. Again, making sure that it looks clean and it's easy to use. It's very important for them. Um, some of the priority features, again, we go into a lot of that, is real-time order tracking, which average at a 3.69, Tracking various delivery time slots, 3.64. Exclusive discounts for frequent users, 4.17. And time slots averaged at 3.48. Again, with all of this, we wanted to really show, right, what are the priorities. These are all important features that your app may already hold, but this is what the target market is actually ensuring and looking for. Um, competitor pricing, we want, um, and asked all of them from a zero to a hundred, what is a reasonable competitive pricing that you are willing to pay? And, and the responses varied a lot from $4 to $100. Majority, however, were within the 20 to 40 range right about here, right? It's pretty reasonable, pretty competitive, especially comp and comp considering everybody else. Uh, differences by segment. So I was actually able 
um, to gather the information from the survey and gather it towards our target market within the income levels and the competitive pricing. Uh, under 18 year olds suggested an average of $22.23, I mean with 33 cents, um, for a reasonable considering uh, competitive pricing. The 18 to 24 age group, which is our target market, actually said $32.20. Um, our 25 to 34 uh, target market said $10, which that one could also be because there was only a few of the people that responded and so not many actually within that age group. So that should not be very reflective off of that age group or target market as well. But 45 to 54 year olds and 65 to 74 year olds uh, had like a $30 range right there within 50 cents off. Um, and the 54, 55 to 64 age had a mid-range of about $20, $21.55. As we can see here, majority of those that answered were within our target market of 18 to 24 year olds, which holds at a pretty reasonable age compared to our previous range between 20 to 40 dollars, which they hold into that. So again, just remaining within that balance and not overpricing it or undervaluing it, our services. But again, so in all, our recommendations for you would be a strong appeal more towards our target market, the 18 to 24 year olds. Again, providing more um, surveys to the that specific target market, right? Not just the variety, especially because they are the next gen. Um, they consisted also of 82.81%. Right, um, a balanced gender distribution, right? Whenever you do this again, if you do it again, make sure to keep it balanced, right? You wanna be able to incorporate everyone and prioritize those features that appeal to majority. Um, majority were in the Watsahatchee area. Again, that is because a survey was held in the Watsahatchee area, but you could also go to more city-like areas where it is used actually more frequently to use an app. 41% reported an income below $10,000. So we wanna make sure that we're keeping it reasonable with our competitive pricing, but also considering that not everyone is using this on a day-to-day -day basis. And some desired features, the priority ones, so included product freshness guarantee, cost transparency, and speed of delivery. And an expected reasonable and competitive price was around $31.11. And and now we want to be able to tailor again to the 18 to 24 year olds we want to consider the different income levels remember the higher the income the more they'll be willing to spend but also keeping it reasonable for both target markets and not overvaluing it um, again being able to just further this research on to the next city and probably a bigger population um, and some recommended actually partnerships with local grocery stores and enhancing clients' strategic positioning in this market. So again, we want to partner with other companies. If you see our competitor Uber Eats, uh, we will see that you will see in a grocery store Uber Eats, right? So we want to be able to partner with them so we can get it in their mind that Lyft Eats is a real thing and it's willing and ready for them. And including membership exclusives as well. Uh, thank you.